Hey, what's going on? So you probably clicked on this video because you're just curious the terminology of floating, full floating, and uh, semi-float axles. A full floating axle is generally ones you see in dualies, semi-trucks, and uh, usually they look a lot like this. This truck specifically is a three-quarter ton, not a half ton. Looks like that, right? Follow me so far on that? This is a full floating axle. And really, if I wanted to remove this axle, all I have to do is pop off these eight bolts right here. I think they're five-eighths. And my whole axle would come out. And my axle that I took out on the other side, I'm working on it, looks like this. I don't want to touch it. It's very, very nasty. There is two seals. One's right there, and another seal is pressed into the hub ever so lightly. I'll show you what the hub looks like. This is the hub. Looks like that. That's where the stubs go. If I wanted to, and anyone really, if you have a full floating axle just like this, you actually do not have to jack your vehicle up in the air because all the weight that is being pushed downward is supported by the hub itself. If you, again, if you want to remove this guy right here, and I'm pointing at, ah, snap, I don't know if you can see him or not. Uh, that right there, if you just wanted to take him out, just to replace the outer seal or for whatever reason, you don't even have to jack him up. Again, because his weight is supported by that hub. Now, if you want to remove that hub, you do need a special tool that takes it out. I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so this guy right here, this is the actual nut that presses that bearing into place. And when more you tighten this guy, it takes a special tool. And the more you tighten this guy, the tighter it gets that. So that's what it looks like. And there's teeth on the inside of it. And when you push up against it, it locks it in place. There is a, there is a, a teeth that floats. And when you, <laughs> um, when you buy that tool that, that, um, when you buy the tool for this, it depresses those teeth to where it can't catch. And then that's how you get this thing out. And this is a Sterling 10.25. Anyway, it's a full floating axle. Uh, and, and they're like that all over from Dana to um, a lot of them out there. It's not just Ford. It's, it's many, many axles, full floating. I'll show you what a semi-floating axle looks like right now. And these suckers are harder because you have to pop off the back cover. In other words, the full floating axles, just to take off the axle, you don't have to pop off the cover. That's the nice part about it. The ones that are half tons is the other style where you do have to pop off the main cover for the differential. All the fluid comes out, then you have to reseal it. It's a lot bigger job. Ooh, this is my wannabe lightning. All right, so this is a semi-floating axle. And it doesn't mean that uh, it'll sink partially in the uh, water. Well, maybe it will, depending on if it's a boat anchor or not, in your definition. <laughs> so this one, the bearings are, um, it's supported. All the weight is supported by one single bearing versus uh, two sets of bearings, like the full floating hub that I just showed you. And you have to take off the cover, which is under there, and undo whatever mechanism, if it's C-clips or something else I didn't mention. But, uh, but yeah, these are a different story, and your payload, it's about payload, that's what this is. Full floating axles can take on a lot more weight, long story short, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's simple. So yeah, in basic terms, I just explained to you what a full floating axle is, full floating axle, and on the green truck I just showed you, that is a semi-floating it technically can't carry that much. It's just a, a pickup truck, probably rated to carry, um, yeah, not that much. Maybe a thousand pounds if I looked at the sticker, carry, that is, uh, before things start to squeak a little bit. Please like and subscribe. I spend a great deal of my time trying to explain these things, video editing and uploading. If you subscribe, you empower the free knowledge web, which makes me want to make more videos to help.